This disease is caused by the mutation of genes called EXT1 or EXT2, uh, these genes we have been working on for many years. Uh, and uh, these kids uh, with MAG suffer from uh, the formation of multiple bone tumors, sometimes you know, uh, dozens and uh, even hundreds of tumors in the, you know, the every part of the body. And uh, uh, some people suffer as only you know, few, uh, several bone tumors. But the, because of the possibility of the uh, malignant transformation to the chondrosarcomas, these tumors need to be uh, treated by surgery. And as you understand, because these kids uh, can have dozens of osteochondromas, they sometimes uh, experience you know, the up to 10 times surgery. So in this study, uh, we tackled to uh, some of the issue, in a long-term issue, why the mice with the same genotype of the human patients don't uh, develop osteochondromas. This is a really puzzling issue, but uh, you know, somehow, although the patients and the mice have the same genotype, EXT1 plus minus, EXT2 plus minus, these mice never develop osteochondromas, especially in the long bones. You know. So uh, we engineered a new model mice in which knockout, you know, uh, mutation of EXT1 gene occurs in the only small fraction of chondrocytes up to 5%. So we try to mimic the loss of heterozygosity in these uh, new model mice. Uh, very surprisingly, actually, uh, our uh, study showed that the uh, EXT1 mutation, homozygous mutation, occurs only in the 5% of the chondrocytes. These mice develop multiple osteochondromas. And not only osteochondromas, they develop characteristic bone deformity. So these results uh, strongly suggests that the, the, even in the human MAG, loss of heterozygosity or EXT genes may be the underlying cause of the mechanism. We are you know, about to start a new study to use this mass model to screen for the, uh, the potential drugs of MAG, and uh, hopefully uh, these mice will be useful to uh, develop a new therapy for MHE. You know, currently no medical therapies available for the disease.